Philippine City volunteers give a computer as a gift for a college student to enhance his study. Dive Vision Mobile Clinic gives ISMs and free glasses to homeless people in Los Angeles. Welcome to Dive Headlines, I'm Maggie Tsai. Thank you for joining us. Nino Makabobo is a fourth-year college student in Boho Island, Philippines, studying computer science. He has had to form fingers and toes since he was young, so he was often mocked. So he remains smiling and never slacks off at his studies. City volunteers knew that he needed a computer for his studies, so they invited him and his family to a CG event and gave him a laptop. Nino is very grateful about the present and cherishes it very much. What? Despite his deformed fingers, Nino is still able to hold a pen and write beautifully. It amazes city volunteers who came to visit him. Ever since Nino was born, he has had deformed fingers and toes and has always been marked. But his mother still insists on sending him to school because she knows it is a chance to change his life. Since Nino was little, he has been laughed at because of his deformed fingers and toes, but I can't give up on him. He also always studied hard. His family was invited to come to this Chichin camp. Volunteers introduced Nino's struggle and the license he has received. And the most important thing is to give him this prize. Computer. I never thought they'd give me a computer. I really need it. Thank you so much. Nino is studying computer science, and he will graduate next year. To do homework, he often had to borrow a computer from someone. So this special gift comes at the right time. It will help him with his studies. When family in Indonesia used to live a comfortable life, however, the father later died from a liver illness and the mother had to support the family alone. Upon hearing the news, city volunteers went to visit them and also give the two sons tuition aids. The boys had promised to study hard so they could take care of their mother in the future. Terima kasih orang tua Bagas yang sudah membesarkan Bagas sampai sekarang ini. Maaf kalau Bagas suka nyusahin kedua apa orang ibu dalam hal ekonomi dan lain-lain sekali lagi bagas apa bagas berusaha akan menyenangkan orang ibu dalam dua tahun ke depan bagas is always considerate he would always do housework and share the load after his father died his mother has to work to raise the family by washing clothes it doesn't bring in enough money, so the mother often has to worry about their tuition fees. Tiji encourages the brothers to study and to be good boys. I want to thank Tiji's assistance. Because of your help, my brother and I can go to school. Thank you for caring for my family and for allowing us to join Tiji events so we can learn to pay back society. I hope my children can find good jobs. I don't want them to toil hard like me. It's best if they can go to college so they can find good work. This isn't about me. It's for their own good. Wishing their mother could live a better life, the brothers are building their dreams through education. In Jiangsu Province, China, every city has its scholarship plan to offer financial support for children in need. Volunteers also give them encouragement to overcome obstacles in life and pursue a brighter future. Let's take a look. Tsuji has been supporting Tianjin School in Kunshan, Jiangsu Province for eight years. Volunteers have also promoted recycling and Jinsu aphorisms here. Tsuji volunteers don't know us, but they are able to love anyone in the world. They have given their care and love to our children and help us overcome many difficulties during studies and life. After many years, volunteers have formed a close relationship with these children. To think of Tsuji, children now want to give back. Tsuji has impacted me greatly. I've always had a wish to become a Tsuji volunteer when I grow up. I want to help others in need and give back to society so they can feel the warmth and love like I did. 
Volunteers also passed down love in this vocational school in Yancheng City. Nanjing volunteers brought an entrepreneur and some staff to help students in need. The four children I have got in touch with all suffered different degrees of poverty. However, they are all dentified and cheerful, and they have encouraged me and my colleagues a lot. To spread the positive energy, volunteers also teach Jin's aphorisms on the campus. In this activity, we saw some impoverished children learn to cherish blessings. It has struck us in our heart, and I was touched. So I organized some activities for company staff to bring these students warmth. Volunteers formed a line to hug each child and share great love with each other. In Zhangzhou, Fujian, Cixi Carrie Sibian Lin Ruichun has a son and a daughter to take care of, but unfortunately she also has uremia for many years now. Due to her three times a week dialysis treatment, her husband has to change jobs to help meet the demands of it. But in turns, the new job of selling fresh produce has hindered their finances. In the past three years, Cixi has provided a stream of support for the family, whether financially or emotionally. Most recently, the volunteers brought a whole check full of furniture to replace their old ones. Let's take a look. We've already made plans with the daughter and she also changed her schedule already. She wants to see us and we want to see her too. So we didn't change our time. Even though the rain came down hard, we still went. Keeping their word, Zhangzhou Cixi volunteers braved the rain to send care recipient Lin Ruichun's family an entire truck full of furniture. <laughs> to celebrate the Dragon Boat Festival, volunteers also gifted vegetarian zongzi. <laughs> These are handmade by the volunteers, not from the store. It's made with love, and by giving this to you, is representative of the best wishes of global city volunteers have for your family. With Lin's uremia, she has to undergo dialysis three times a week, which has in turn forced her husband to change his job to being a fresh vegetable vendor, which yields unstable income. Thank you, Cixi, for your help. Thank you to the master. Otherwise, I might not be here today. When my parents were sick, sometimes we suffer financially, and often my heart ached because I felt hopeless. In these past few years, you have been present every month. It has really warmed my heart, so thank you. Jin Xia, who is 18, is the eldest daughter. She loves school and is helping out around the house and helps take care of her younger brother as well. The volunteers have come to see her as their own daughter. Jin Xia has a very clear view about her own future. If I'm able to in the future, I like to help out other people in need, as I know firsthand what it's like to go through something similar. It is hoped with these good intentions set out in the world, this family can fulfill this wish and live a life filled with happiness. Fujian Cixi volunteers have the restaurant to do recycling, and the volunteers would teach the employees about the know-how. To celebrate the Children's Day on June 1st, Cixi volunteers in Xiamen turn recyclable goods into various stands with games and allow visitors to enjoy a joyful and meaningful evening at the recycling station. Wu Wei Shu Shi, a vegetarian restaurant in Fuzhou, Fujian, is famous for its eating culture, which includes presentations of dishes and its training for its employees. They do recycling, and city volunteers come regularly to store the recyclables. They always have good consensus. When we import some goods with cardboard boxes, I'll tell our staff to open and flatten them, so we can organize them immediately. When the staff is having trainings, the restaurant invites city volunteers to teach them about recycling and change their perceptions little by little. At first I had slight misophobia, so I didn't dare to pick up things from a trash can, but I can pick up paper from the trash can and put it in a small trash can. They use actions to give back to city by being more mindful to do recycling and also preparing snacks for the volunteers.
When we do it, we also feel it's quite hard, so we prepare water and snacks as our gesture, so the volunteers will feel they're our guests at home. In Xiamen, this recycling house is packed with children because the volunteers turn recyclable goods into interesting games to celebrate the Children's Day on June 1st. Their riddles, making cotton candies, and a pinball made with cardboard is the most popular game. If you can hit one hole and complete a mission, you'll get a small present. These games from Taiwan are very creative. They'll be our references and we'll bring these to our communities so the kids can also know the concept about the extending use of goods. In this quiet night, adults and children are laughing happily because they have wonderful memories from this event and also have learned more about recycling. In Los Angeles, the number of homeless has increased to over 500,000 people. To serve the U.S. TG Medical Mission has launched a Dye Vision Mobile Clinic for seven years. Now they collaborate with many local organizations to host free clinics and regularly give out free glasses. Let's see how happy they are. Downtown Women Center, this place is the most famous place in LA. Many people come from other countries to this place. Clinic arrived at the Los Angeles Women's Center. Donna, who's from Georgia, came especially for its services. The last one I got, I had cataracts and I need to get them removed. So these extra pair of glasses will help a lot. I wish they had this service in Atlanta, Georgia, where I'm from. I wish they had this service here. Chavan has albinism and is almost blind. She has been on the street for a while. This time, the eye doctor gave her a detailed examination and customized new glasses for her so she can reconnect with society. I'm very happy because they're going to be calling me in to work for the city to be a child advocate for deaf and blind children. I want to work with them. I want to help. I want to give help and help myself. She has no job, so she became homeless. Now that she has these new glasses, she can start to look for a job and help others like her and also children who are blind. Sandra hasn't checked her eyes since three or four years ago. She was amazed that her wish yesterday came true the next day. Yesterday I was just telling God, as soon as I get some money or something to give, my, give me some new glasses, the ones I had was old, they was falling off my place. And Susie bought my bliss, blessings my way. I came down today and I got blessed with me a new pair of glasses. I can see clearly now. <laughs> Volunteers and doctors mindfully treated patients hoping to lighten up their future with new pair of glasses. Mothers play an important role in a family, sometimes even forgetting about themselves when it comes to work or caring for other family members. They may not express all of their emotions, which can get stored up inside. Psychologist Hong Zhongqing says that mothers should spend more time loving themselves as well as caring for themselves. Aside from going to work, many mothers have to come home and care for children. This means they may be burning the candle at both ends and succumbing to more and more pressure. Psychologists say that such women should take a moment to care for themselves. The role of a mother makes it quite easy to forget about themselves, and when they are serving other family members, they may not look after their own concerns or needs. When 
Hong Chongqing is a well-known psychologist who compiled many such problems encountered by mothers into a book. He says each mother must believe that she is a good mother, and when it comes to sharing love between families, there should be no limits, and each mother should take more time for themselves. My needs are just as important as the needs of others. One should put the appropriate time on things that need to be done as a priority and do less of the things that you simply want to do. Sometimes the less thing you do, your life can slowly get back on track. When one's life faces bottlenecks, experts suggest deep breathing and meditation to allow your brain to focus. Many hope that these simple tips can help mothers enjoy their lives a little bit more. Taiwan Neonatology Association launched the Taiwan Neonatal Network in 2016 to improve the care system for newborn babies. Hualien City Hospital hosted an inauguration and is the only hospital that is recognized to join in the entire eastern Taiwan. It will continue to upgrade the medical team and equipment to safeguard babies' health. The nurse feeds the little baby and watches the numbers on the monitor screen mindfully. The baby was premature and is now less than a month old. Hualien City Hospital applied cross-department collaborations to give the baby the required care at the most important time. When the baby is about to be born, our pediatric team will be standing by so they can give the baby timely treatment. Through this kind of collaboration, we can give the parents more confidence as well as better care for the premature babies and some babies which are ill. The mortality rate for newborn babies in Hualien is 8 out of 1,000 for two consecutive years, which rates twice as high as the average in Taiwan. To safeguard the health of newborn babies, Hualien City Hospital has set up a neonatal department, Department of Pediatric, as well as ICU for neonatal and children. Zhiji Hospital has added to its care team, especially with the addition of Dr. Zhang Yushun who came from NTU and will boost neonatal care, and in Hualien District, Zhiji has also made improvements in the pediatric field. Hualien Zhiji Hospital is the only hospital in eastern Taiwan that joined the Taiwan Neonatal Network. By continuing to improve the medical team and equipment, the hospital hopes to safeguard the newborn baby's health right at the very beginning. Brown root disease infects trees from the soil, and when infected, the leaves on the tree yellow and fall off. There are more than 120 kinds of this disease in Taiwan, which can cause a major disaster in terms of local plant ecology. Red important fire ants have also been spreading for a decade, causing an allergic shock in many people upon being bitten. Fortunately, both of these two natural blights can be sniffed out by a beagle. In fact, these valuable detection dogs are helping protect our environment and are even more accurate than expensive scientific equipment. Perhaps everyone has heard of tree doctors, but few know that there are actually dogs who can play a vital role in helping trees. Chi Wei Lian, an associate professor at Daoren University, uses beagles to help the Jai Forest District Office. These dogs are used to search for brown root disease. Brown root disease is a kind of pathogen that causes roots to be corrupted and causes plant death. Taiwan has more than 120 kinds of plants that can be infected, causing economic losses. Therefore, it has also been called tree cancer. A lot of money is spent on the prevention and control of brown root disease. And considering manpower resources, we asked Fu Chun Xu from the Taiwan Forestry Research Institute to introduce a new way for diagnosis by using detection dogs. Chi Wei Lian has successfully trained the world's first brown root disease detection dogs and has written a new chapter in ecological conservation. Actually, the inspiration for training these detection dogs came from the food industry, as dogs are used to sniff out very expensive truffles. 
In the case of brown root disease, it is a fungus that infects the roots of trees. Since truffles can be detected by dogs, I thought that if brown root disease may have its own flavor, I didn't expect to have a special odor. I didn't expect it to be so identifiable, as these dogs can easily detect it. Find it? Find it? Oh, you you wow. Through these beagle detection dogs, we can find the disease at the root and not when it becomes so serious. This is the major difference when using these dogs. In the first treatment, we spent 15 trees to be diagnosed. We then targeted the 15 trees by cutting them and giving them priority treatment. That is, we would dig it up, destroy roots, and then expose the soil. These beagle detection dogs don't just help detect brown root disease, but do other services at Taoyuan International Airport. For more than 10 years, the airport has been infested with red imported fire ants. Beagles have been helpful in identifying ant nests and enacting prevention and control work in a race against the clock. Good girl, fighting. The airport area is more than 600 hectares in size. In fact, it took decades to control it, and finally last year it was cleared. The Fire and Research Center has been operating for many years and decided to use the potato chips because it is oily and the effect is very good. It tastes better than hot dogs and can squid as the ants come up in minutes. The international airport operates 24 hours a day with aircraft frequently taking off and landing. Even if these potato chips make red imported fire ants appear, the prevention team has no way to immediately enter the area. For this reason, it is necessary to rely on the dog's sensitive nose to survey the area and stop the expansion of these ants. Dr. Chi thought the dogs were very efficient. We were nervous at that time, so we used smell detectors costing 60,000 to 90,000 US dollars to compare against these dogs. As a result, the dogs won. The success rate of the machines was only 4 out of 10 cases with 6 failures. This was because the environment is too complicated. When the dogs tested 10 samples, 9 were successful, as a detection dog can distinguish more than 300 kinds of ants in time one. Using beagles as detection dogs has not only solved the problem of red imported fire ants, but has even inspired people from Japan to come and learn about the special skill. These detection dogs only need a little care and affection, and they will continue working hard to sniff out root disease and red imported fire ants, helping protect our sacred investment. Whether it is to find brown root disease or put an end to red fire ants, dogs protect our precious environment. Toronto City Academy hosted a graduation and 13 graduates performed to show the result of their studies. We'll leave you these images and thank you for joining us. Goodbye.